I don't know about you, but I am a little bit worried. Apparently so is she because, oh, oh, and now she ran away. See, concerning. If you didn't know, The Sims is about to announce the next game pack for The Sims 4. They gave us this roadmap many, many months ago, and it was like, hey, you're gonna get a stuff pack, an expansion pack, and then a game pack in the next six months. We got Nifty Netting, we got Eco Lifestyle, and now we're gonna get unnamed pack that's gonna be announced soon. Today is Gamescom, like the virtual Gamescom, so they're gonna have a ton of gaming announcements today, but for many of you, all you care about is The Sims announcement. And I don't really know what to expect. There was a leak, of course. It wouldn't be The Sims 4 without a leak. And this is possibly one of the dumbest leaks they've ever had. Like, sometimes Origin leaks it, or like, some external store leaks it, or whatever. They straight up leaked it themselves, and I cannot believe- like, okay, I'll show you. Way back in the beginning of August, they posted this, like, tutorial on their official website about how to enter their Sparked challenges, like, on the gallery. And so they had this screenshot of the game menu, right? I don't know if you can see that, but let me open this in a new tab. On the screenshot of the game menu, you can see the pack icon for, a, like, an unannounced, unreleased game pack. So they straight up just leaked the game pack on their own, on their own official website. I really think this was just a really stupid mistake. There's no way they did it on purpose. I don't think The Sims leaks things on purpose, especially not like this. I hope that nobody got in big trouble for it, but, like, that was so funny that they just straight up leaked it on their own. It was, like, it just, oh, what a dumb accident. Anyway, there's been a lot of speculation about this, like, what could that be? What might that be? A lot of people think it's Star Wars, which I think is very interesting. I like Star Wars, I've seen the movies, I think a lot of people really love Star Wars. I would argue that Star Wars is possibly one of the most popular franchises of all time. And for that reason, I feel like Star Wars is kind of an interesting collab choice for The Sims. There's only been one collab so far in The Sims 4, and that was with Moschino, a, like, really fan- Moschino? I don't know. It's like a really fancy high-end brand. I call it Mosquito, like the bug, but they had this weird stuff pack collab that seemed very out of nowhere and like kind of ugly. That one to me seemed completely out of left field, like just didn't make sense. I mean, you have this core audience of The Sims 4, which is like mostly teenagers. Obviously there's a lot of people outside of that, myself included, but like, I think a huge player base of The Sims is like, teenage girls. <laughs> and those people can't afford a $600 hoodie, so like, why are you collabing with that? I don't understand. Whereas like, Star Wars appeals to a much broader audience. I feel like everybody has seen Star Wars. Everybody knows what Star Wars is. You might not like it, but that doesn't really matter, because I think you can acknowledge that like, everybody does. I'm not like the biggest Star Wars fan, but I, even I like Star Wars, and I don't really care about most of that stuff. So this, to me, is if it is Star Wars, seems like it could be a really smart collab choice. Like, if you're gonna pick some sort of franchise to collab with, I feel like Star Wars is a pretty safe bet, because like, again, everybody kind of likes Star Wars. Whereas like, that fashion brand was kind of like, sorry, who is that? Never heard of you before, and I'm sorry, your hoodies are $600? <laughs> but EA's done some Star Wars games in the past, The Sims already has a bunch of Star Wars stuff in it, there's like, Star Wars costumes, there's a Baby Yoda statue. I mean, we've kind of already been hinting towards this since the game came out and they gave us those Star Wars costumes. So again, to me, this seems like a pretty sensible collab. If you're gonna do a collab, Star Wars. I do have some concerns though. I'm not super into the idea of like a story-based game. What I'm not looking to see is a Strangerville 2.0. I think that that pack was a really interesting experiment. I like some of the items, I liked the concept, but I think in execution, I don't really like the idea of like a one playthrough, weird, linear, story-driven concept in The Sims. Like, I'm a little bit worried about replayability for this pack if it is Star Wars. Like, what is it gonna be? Like, some sort of, like, Baby Yoda story? Like, I don't really know what to expect, so I am so curious to watch the trailer. I think usually I'm really anti-leak, like, I worry a lot about people having seen a leak and then pre-forming an opinion about a pack, because I really truly, like, feel bad for the Sims team about, like, that whole eco-lifestyle farming pack debacle, because there was, like, a fake farming pack leak, and then the next day they announced eco-lifestyle and people were like, this isn't farming, but, like, it was a fake leak. And so I kind of worry about people, like, pre-forming opinions and getting excited for a thing that hasn't been announced yet and blah blah blah, I know I'm doing that right now, but I'm just so curious, like, if they do a Star Wars pack, what's that gonna be? I'm like genuinely excited to try it and play it, because I'm like so baffled at how they're gonna do it. Like, what? how are you gonna do Star Wars in The Sims 4? How? And I think that 
that is what excites me about it. I don't really care that much about Star Wars, I don't really care that much about story gameplay in The Sims, but like, I'm so fascinated by the concept that I like, can't wait to get my hands on it. Does that make sense? I haven't even seen a trailer yet. Anyway, this is the live stream. Gamescom opening night live 2020 starts in like, an hour. I don't know when in this event they're gonna do The Sims announcement, which kind of concerns me. I also don't know how long this is supposed to be. I don't know if there's like a- I was gonna say a table of contents. Is there a table of contents for this live stream? But again, I don't know like when they're gonna do the Sims announcement in this, so I'm just gonna watch the entirety of Gamescom uh, opening night live 2020 and see what happens. The other thing that's exciting is that they're doing a Sims announcement at Gamescom. I feel like it's rare that the Sims announces things at these huge gaming events. Like a lot of times we aren't really a part of them. So it's kind of cool that we're a part of Gamescom this year. It's sad that um, this is the year that we're a part of Gamescom and nobody could go to Gamescom and be there in person for it because there is no in-person event. But you know what? At least we're a part to games come, right? Well, now we wait. All right, folks, the pre-show just finished. They're starting now. I'm nervous. I like feel genuine anxiety about this. I think it's because I'm I'm just scared of what this pack's gonna be like. So um, I guess we watch and we wait and ideally we'll react <laughs> as soon as it's ready. Ah! Getting a blanket for this. I'm not Xbox kidding. I'm scared. Year, <laughs> oh boy. Is Dan Von Drack from Call of Duty. <laughs> I think the idea of like all these simmers having to sit through a two hour long show about like, the new COD and like all these games that I know for a fact 90% of you do not care at all about is really funny to me. Like, I'm sorry that this is happening to you and I'm sorry if you planned on watching this live stream and didn't realize what you were getting yourself into, but <laughs> I'm excited about this. Although I understand that many of you are not. I wonder what the chat looks like right now. I cannot imagine. The chat for these sort of things is usually just a toxic nightmare. <laughs> like, a lot of times there's like a game announcement and the whole chat just types L. Like, <laughs> it's really bad. It's usually worse on Twitch because of the emotes. Like the last PlayStation event, they literally just had a emote only mode on the whole chat, which I respect. I wonder, do they have a Twitch stream too? Okay, this live stream is different. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Excuse me? Why? <laughs> Well, which one's more- which one's right? No, look, the Twitch one's further ahead. Oh, I'd way rather watch the Twitch one anyway. Psh, forget YouTube. No one cares about her. Let's watch this one. I'm gonna close the chat too, okay. <laughs> Full screen. We don't need to see that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh <laughs> god. Oh. It's not us. It's not us. Okay. It's not us. <gasps> Literally each time they speak, I get scared that it's us. Like he just said, in a world gone strange. And I was like, oh my God, it's Strangerville too. <laughs> I can't. I am so stressed. Galaxy far, far away today at Star Wars Galaxy Edge. You oh my lord, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, What is it? I, I mean, it looks really good. Like, the stuff they've made for it is cool. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Karen. Oh, that's wow. Wow. Okay. I don't. I'm not sure. I understand at all. There is even more Star Wars to come later in the show. Lego more? Star Wars: The Skywalker Three Saga. Three Star Wars games you're announcing to today. Hour. Okay. See? I'm sorry. What's the? Is the chat kill the franchise, please? Someone said in chat. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I don't care. Let's talk about that, shall we? Kind of want to rewatch the trailer. Uh, I feel like that whole thing was just a lot of uh, like, sorry, what? Like, 
<laughs> I'm, I'm still confused as to what is going to happen in this. They said I was inspired by Disney, which I live in Disney. I don't know if you knew, I live in Orlando. I'm, I don't live in Disney. I have not been to Disney in a long time. Never seen the Star Wars stuff at Disney, but cool. Oh, look, the official release trailer is out on YouTube now. Do you know what? This game looks really good. I'm not sure I understand, like, what it is. Hello, post your blog post. I want to know what it is. <laughs> To explain this to me, please. Well, I actually think this is really interesting. I know that, um, oh look, hone your lightsaber skills. Is, is there, <laughs> sorry. Is there literally gonna be a, a lightsaber skill? Anyway, hone your lightsaber skills, befriend a droid, and get ready to unlock missions for the Resistance, First Order, or Scoundrels. The more you accomplish, the closer you are to meeting iconic Star Wars characters like Rey and Kylo Ren. Okay, I, all right. Let's talk. I don't think that this pack is something that I'm going to be all that interested in playing. Like, I don't know if I really care about, like, the quests part and stuff of this game. It seems kind of Strangerville-like to me. We all know I wasn't a huge fan of Strangerville, but that's just because I'm not sure I like the idea of like a linear storyline within The Sims, because to me The Sims is this sandbox game where I can do whatever I want. I don't know if I like it when they tell me a story. I like when they give me like little bits of a story, like tidbits, like how townies have backstories, but I can kind of do whatever I want with them. Whereas like Strangerville exists in one way and you solve this mystery in one way. So I'm hoping that with Star Wars, it'll have like some level of replayability because I feel like with Strangerville, once you played it once, you played it. And I don't know if I have like a super huge interest in playing Strangerville again. I had fun playing Strangerville the one time, but when it comes to like, is the pack worth the money? I think I had $20 of fun from Strangerville, but I also think that the other game packs are worth a lot more fun <laughs> than Strangerville. Like things like Dine Out, I use all the time. I got my Sims going on dates to restaurants. I've run restaurants. Like I use Dine Out in like my everyday regular Sims gameplay. I think that pack is well worth the money that I spent on it. And I did buy that one, it wasn't sent to me. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm gonna use Star Wars every day in my Sims game. However, a lot of people really love Star Wars. Like, I can imagine a lot of people being so excited about this. And listen, just because maybe you and I aren't like super into Star Wars does not mean that we can rain on their parades. I'm sure they're really happy about it. The video is getting a lot of dislikes. This is the kind of pack that I can imagine will be very polarizing, so I understand. I don't know, I feel so inclined to come into it with an open mind because like, I'm kind of intrigued as to how they're gonna do this. Like, how is a Star Wars Sims collab going to exist? I like genuinely don't know. Like, I don't get it and I'm really curious to see. Although I can imagine this not being a pack that I'm super interested in. I think this one makes me feel really bad because some people like love Star Wars and I think I feel sorry that they're gonna be so excited and have all this like negativity raining on their parade. So if you love Star Wars, you go out there and you love Star Wars, okay? Don't let those people get to you. Don't read the comments. <laughs> don't, don't look at them, okay? And September 8th is kind of soon. Happy birthday to my mother. Sorry mom that I can't hang out with you that day. I probably have to stream the pack. <laughs> oh. Do you know what? I didn't really look very much at like all of the stuff that they're adding. That's the other thing. Like this, the items and the clothing in this pack probably aren't gonna be the most usable. <laughs> like, I don't know if we're ever gonna find ourselves using these things. At least with Strangerville, like some of it was passable for like everyday builds. Like the windows were awesome for like just regular houses, but I don't know how often I'll use um, this. <laughs> but the costumes are cool. Uh, I feel really conflicted. Her hair looks really cool. Okay, folks, we got one hairstyle. There we go. I just, at the end of the day, I just really am questioning why and how. <laughs> I think that I'm ending this video on on that note just this why and how is there updates yet have you posted the blog give me the blog oh oh no there's nothing okay i made a joke on twitter looking forward to the announcement of katy perry sweet treats 2 this afternoon before the stream went live and um i hate to say it but <laughs> it's true perhaps the most hated sims game of all time was katy perry sweet treats the collab pack from the sims 3 um it was like more expensive than regular stuff packs uh, and katy perry themed i don't know if they announced a price but it better not be more expensive than regular game packs. I don't think they would do that. I'm kind of just clicking through the trailer again. I'm just so confused. <laughs> Is anyone else just sitting here kind of like, but how? 
and why? Anyway, my formal and final opinion is that I don't know how I feel yet, and I'm gonna wait until I see more from it, because this trailer is like a minute and a half of just Star Wars stuff. Like, what is the game actually gonna be? We don't know that much yet. I assume they'll have some like live streams, hopefully some blog posts so we can learn some more info. Of course, I'll make some videos on it once it comes out and stuff. But at the end of the day, I just don't get- I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand. I still think it's a good collab. I think of all the possible collabs they could have done, at least this one is like hugely popular among like all generations. And it's kind of interesting. Do you know, back like six months ago when they were like, hey, the game pack is something we've never done before. <laughs> this is like the last thing I would have expected. I- I'm gonna be honest. If you had told me six months ago they were gonna make a Star Wars pack, I would have laughed in your face. Like, I literally cannot believe this is real. I think we've all had some time to like adjust to this because of the leaks and stuff. We've all kind of like accepted deep down as to what's gonna happen. But you know what? I guess we'll see. And I am not streaming The Sims today. I am scared of what's going to happen. I don't like the backlash. I'm afraid of negativity. <laughs> I just want to live in my like optimistic bubble. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, this should be interesting. I'm just gonna sit back, relax, and watch the fallout. <laughs>